Hello everyone, how are you doing? I am doing so well. I am here today to open this month's Loot Gaming. This is the September Loot Gaming. If you're interested in getting your own Loot Gaming, you can go to LootCrate.com slash TradeChat, select Loot Gaming, and get yourself a discount by using code TradeChat. The month coming up, so if you sign up before October 27th, you will get the Rumble-themed Loot Gaming, which is extremely exciting because it is Legend of Zelda, Sonic the Hedgehog, Overwatch, and Titanfall. So I feel like those are all really, really good franchises, and I'm so excited to see what's in next month. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and open this month and see what we got. I uh, I did break the seal, but I have not peeked. I'm very proud of myself. So inside of here we got, oh, it's wood. It looks like wood. Oh my god, is this Fallout? Oh my god, stop it. Okay, so preface this by saying I haven't actually played any of the Fallout RPGs, but I am obsessed. I am freaking obsessed with the Fallout, um, Fallout Shelter game on phones or tablets, whatever you played on. Obsessed with Fallout Shelter. Like, it's a problem. I have, like, a, I have, I think right now I have, like, 92 dwellers because that's a necessary amount of dwellers. It's insane. I've spent money on it. It's exciting. Ooh, and we got, it is, it is, you know what this reminds me of is Where's Waldo? It's just every type of thing that you could do as a vault boy in your life. So I love this shirt. Oh, I'm super excited about this shirt. See, it's weird for me because, like, everybody's so excited about Loot Crate t-shirts all the time because they always have really good ones and they're always, like, officially licensed. And But the thing is, like, I'm sort of a hermit that lives in my own little bubble world and I'm not affected by the outside world very often. So sometimes I get shirts and I'm like, I don't know this franchise. Which, funny story, that has led me to so many franchises, it's unreal. Like, I started watching The Walking Dead because of Loot Crate. I started watching Supernatural because of Loot Crate. I tried Archer, guys. I didn't really like it. Like, I don't know. Maybe I need to give it another shot, but I watched, like, all of season one and I just I don't know I didn't think it was that funny like I didn't find myself laughing I found myself like rolling my eyes more than laughing I liked a few of like the catchphrases that they use a lot like oh you want ants that's how you get ants but like I don't know I, I tried it wasn't my thing but I have tried so many like shows and comics and movies that I wouldn't have tried otherwise because of Loot Crate which I really like because like I said I have a habit of kind of being in my own little personal space bubble and I don't want to like try new things so it's been exciting for me all the things that I've tried because of Loot Crate but I didn't actually try Fallout Shelter because of Loot Crate. I've tried it because Nick played it and I was like that looks fun and then it was and now I'm like he's moved on and I have not but yeah so I love this shirt also blue looks good with my hair and on that same note I know my hair looks really bad right now like I needed to dye it like three weeks ago but then BlizzCon was like five weeks and I don't like to dye my hair that close together like I usually try to wait like two or three months between bleaching my hair because it's not good for it um and the way that the time fell if I dyed it when it needed to be dyed I wouldn't have been able to dye it again before BlizzCon so we're toughing it out we're toughing out like some crazy roots so that I can have awesome hair for BlizzCon because I'm doing like crazy unicorn hair for BlizzCon it's gonna be good stuff okay so next up in our crate this is a Gears of War 4 item which Nick loves Gears of War I've played a little bit on like the co-op mode but I haven't played a lot but Nick loves oh my god it's the Lancer this is amazing stop okay wow this is so cool okay so this came with a little put togetherable yeah that's a term put togetherable stand it is a replica of the Lancer so you can put it in this little how does this fit nicely wait does it go this way ah it does. Okay, so this is literally so fantastic. It is so well made. It's plastic. It's not metal, but it's it's so detailed. It's so nice. I love that it came with a little stand. This is amazing. This is really amazing. This is exclusive to Loot Gaming. It's all officially licensed. It is not a toy. Not a toy. <laughs> this is awesome. Wow. Okay, so first two items in this crate, I already feel like I'm worth, the crate has been worth it. Okay, so there's some sort of, there's another collectible in here. This is Battle Zone, not a game I've heard of. Also a Loot Crate exclusive. Um, whatever's in here. Is this shot glasses? Turn down for what? That I don't even care what the game is. Like I got shot glasses? Wow. And they're like competing scores, right? So one of them says the score is 300 and the other one says the score is like zero. Because it must be some sort of co-op game. Wow, I can't believe they sent shot glasses. And they're they're glass, too. These aren't plastic. Wow. I'm so impressed. I can't believe we got shot glasses. And there's more in here. I'm not done. Like, there's, there's more in here. Okay, so the next thing is Dead Rising. It's also very heavy. Also Loot Crate exclusive and officially licensed. This is very heavy. What is in here? All right, so we have a little... No! Oh, my God! It's a freaking knife! Everybody said 
kinds of, okay, wait, maybe it's not a knife. That's some, that's a screwdriver. Is there a knife, a file, more types of screwdrivers, can opener. It's not a knife. Okay, that's okay though. This is an awesome tool. Flashlight, wow. Okay, this is a really good loot gaming. I didn't upload my loot gaming last month because I didn't recognize a few of the franchises. And it's not that the stuff in the crate wasn't good. I'm sure it was. But because I didn't recognize many of the franchises, I didn't feel like I appreciated it very much. But this is really cool. So this must be something that the main character in Dead Rising has because it says Frank West on it. And it's like, it looks like it's etched in there. But this is like a really nice multi-tool. It's got pliers with the little grippy thing. And then there's like a wire cutter at the bottom. There are two, there's a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, a can opener, and a file, and then there's also a flashlight, and it all folds up nicely, and then there's this little pouch for it too, which says Dead Rising on it. This is really, I can't believe the stuff that's in this crate. Wait, did you guys see this? Okay, so the pin this month is really good too. It's got like a skull, and it kind of looks like maybe a fallen soldier, but I've been putting a bunch of my pins on the back of my chair. Do you see them? See them on the straps of my chair? Yeah. Ah. It's not all of them. That's like four of them. I have so many. It's unreal. But I put some of them on there. I wanted to see if they would stay on before I committed to that. But this is the pin that we got this month, which I'm going to put on the back of my chair. Thank you very much. And then there was also a comic book in here. It is a Dark Souls comic. I assume this is a Loot Crate exclusive variant. There's some sort of stamp on the back. I don't know what that means. You see it? I don't really know. I, it's on the plastic though, so I think it's just part of the protective thing. But yeah, so this is Dark Souls Legend of the Flame. And... Okay, so it looks like this is almost like a mini art book, as opposed to being a traditional comic. It seems like there's a lot of stuff in here that have to do with the artists that make the game, and they give you a little more backstory and information on how they did it. So... What a ridiculously good loot gaming. I, I'm sorry I just threw that. That probably made it look like I didn't appreciate it at all. But, like, it's safer there than it is up here. <clears throat> but, so, just to recap, we got the comic book, art book, which is the exclusive variant. We got the shot glasses, also Loot Crate exclusive. We got the Fallout Vault Boy t-shirt, which is amazing. We got the pin that looks like a fallen soldier. We got the multi-tool. And we got the Lancer. This was a really good loot gaming. So if you're interested, oh, and also the inside of the crate totally looks like an arsenal. Uh, but if you are interested in getting your very own loot gaming, like I said, next month's theme is Rumble. It's going to include stuff from Overwatch, um, Sonic the Hedgehog, Legend of Zelda, and what was the other game I said? Titanfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're interested in getting one of those for yourself, you can go to lootcrate.com slash tradejack, select loot gaming, and you can get 10% off of your first order by using code tradechat. And then we can unbox together next month. Or you can go away and never see me again. That's fine too. I don't, I mean, you do you, boo-boo. <laughs> but anyways, I am, uh, okay. Yeah, wow. Okay. I'm like still processing what a good crate this was. I think it's safe to say that this was probably the best loot gaming month ever, at least since I have been subscribed. I think my favorite thing was probably the multi-tool or the shot glasses or the t-shirt or the Lancer. See, I actually liked everything. Like I have no idea what my favorite thing was because everything was so good. I also love that they put a poster instead of um, instead of like the booklet that would get thrown away. I like the idea of anything that can possibly be recycled or reused or anything like that. I think it's a great idea. So overall, wonderful crate. If you would like to get your own loot gaming next month, you can go to lootcrate.com slash trade chat, select loot gaming and use code trade chat at checkout to get a discount off of your first crate. Thank you so much everybody who chooses to do that. It directly supports my show and I appreciate it, but I also know you're going to love the stuff that you get. So yeah, I am going to take off. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I love you all. You're in my hearts. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. 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 I just, I tried there. I don't know if you could tell how much I was trying, but I did. I'm going to go. I like, it's, I've, I've had one of those days where like nothing is coming together and I'm just powering through. And um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the meme of the dog who's like got a cup of coffee and he's sitting in a house that's burning down. And he's like, this is fine. That's like my current emotional state. So I apologize if I got a little, if I get weird at all. It's just what I do. <laughs>